I've got a feeling, a feeling deep inside. Oh yeah. Everybody, this is Ben from Field of Music, and uh, this video is going to be a contest entry for Robert over at Robert's on my turntable, and uh, he's doing a contest for uh, his fourth year in the VC. And his contest is it's pretty simple. Um, since it's a his fourth year, everything revolves around four. And um, he wants us to show the fourth album by four of your favorite bands, artist, whichever. So uh, it's really hard to narrow all that down. Who's my favorite band? Who's my favorite? What's my favorite song? Blah, 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 blah. I can't do all that. So anyway. Um, and then four plus four equals eight. And so we're supposed to try and keep it under eight minutes. So better get going. So first one, Give Me Back My Bullets by Leonard Skinner. Um, this, of course, is my CD. I'm trying to get their catalog on vinyl. I got some of them on vinyl, so I'm just trying to get my favorite band's stuff on vinyl. Um, this was the reissue CD version, and it uh, has a, some interesting stories and stuff in there about the band and stuff like that during the recording of this album. Um, of course, Give Me Back My Bullets was a hit that came off of here. And also, um, let's see, Double Trouble was also. But a lot of these songs, you'll hear them play live. Of course, they're not none of the original members anymore. But anyway, um, anyway, good stuff on here. I don't think it's as good as the first um, few albums, but uh, pretty good nonetheless. This here album doesn't need any introduction. But Led Zeppelin 4, Zozo, the, the Signs album, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, of course, everybody knows this album who's, unless you've been living under a rock for the past 50, 60 years, whatever. Um, of course, this includes the mega hit uh, Stairway to Heavens off this album, which, by the way, uh, was never released as a single. Mm -hmm. The band said we are not a top 40 band and they didn't want to rework the song, you know, to make it fit into radio format and all that stuff. So they just never did release it as a single. Of course, the two songs that did come off of here as released as a single was uh, Black Dog and Rock and Roll. So anyway, um, yeah. I mean, I could go on and on about this album, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Led Zeppelin's number four, their fourth album, um, Led Zeppelin 4, Zozo, Signs, yeah, yeah whatever. Um, up next, um, fourth album by Grand Funk Railroad called Survival. Um, once again, not one of my, it wouldn't be a top four album of mine for Grand Funk. But, uh, um, you know, I got to play by the rules here. Right, Robert? So, anyway, um, two hits that came off of here, or two singles that came off of here were both covers, actually. First one was Feeling All Right, which was uh, recorded by, or was written by Dave Mason and recorded by Traffic. And then um, the other one was uh, Gimme Shelter by The Stones. And uh, they played, Grand Funk played this on all of their um, live albums and stuff like that. Always played it in concert. Um, and they do a, a great job of it. And I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish these guys would put their past aside and get together one last time and do a tour as the original Grand Funk Um That'd probably be one concert that I would shell out some hefty money for to go see. But we'll see. And I don't know. You know, the Beatles were big influences and stuff for a lot of bands. And on the White Album, they had their little, you know, their pictures. Well, Grand Funk did that on these, too, on this album. So there's Mark Farner. 
There's Mel Shacker. I mean, <laughs> Donnie Brewer. Whoops, sorry. And here is Mel Shacker, bass player. So, anyway, I don't know if that had anything to do with anything. But And last but not least, Bad Company, Burning Sky. So, uh, of course, another one of my all-time favorite bands. Probably my all-time favorite vocalist, actually, in Paul Rogers. Uh, pretty cool inner there with a burning sky. But uh, once again, um, uh, probably not my favorite. Well, definitely not my favorite uh, Bad Company album. But uh, once again, number four, um, Everything I Need was a... Uh, a single that was released off of here as well as Burning the Sky. Burning the Sky, which I think is the uh, top track on this album. So, anyway, um, yep, Bad Company, Burning the Sky. So, that does it, Robert, for my contest entry for you. And uh, I want to congratulate you on your uh, fourth anniversary in the VC. Sorry, I don't get to watch and comment on your videos as much as I would like, you know, life gets in the way. And anyway, so um, I wish you many more years in the VC and uh, that'll just do it. But uh, I want everybody to remember that music is not to hear, but music is to feel. This has been from Field of Music and we'll talk to you later.